All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another, uh, let's just call it a let's play of Dead by Daylight, guys. I want to go ahead and apologize. I have not been putting up a lot of videos lately. I've been working a lot. But we're going to go ahead and play a couple games of Dead by Daylight, and we'll be back right after this. All right, Wretched Shop, here we go with my Jaweird. Ready to play some solo play. We are at rank one, I do believe. And uh, didn't even check. I'm pretty sure we're either rank one or two. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Oh, that is the sound of the dangerous, deadly hillbilly. Go ahead and hide here for a second. Figure out where the hell he's going. Uh, to my left there. He is looking for somebody to saw down. And I do not want that to be me. Damn! Right over there, guys. He had a hex totem. Probably ruin or devour hope or who knows. You don't see lullaby a whole lot. Could have been thrill, but my guess is either. Probably ruin or devour. Alright, he's hit somebody with his M1. Got him all injured and bloody. We are just gonna work on this generator and another M1 attack in all likelihood takes them down over there. Alright, he doesn't have knockout because I was able to see his uh, dying aura over there. Getting close, guys. If you guys are wondering why I'm running over here, I expect, I fully expect every killer to have uh, barbecue and chili right now. Uh, it's a Leatherface perk that allows them to see your auras when they hook somebody for like four or five seconds uh, if you're more than so far away from the hook. So I always try to get what I, I expect every killer to have barbecue and chili. It doesn't matter who it is. We're going to wait until he's a little bit away. We're going to save the Meg here. And we're going to go ahead and try to heal her up since I don't hear the heartbeat. Yeah, especially when you get up to uh, in high ranks, though, you should go in expecting every killer to have barbecue and chili, whether it be a nurse, a wraith, a uh, Michael Myers, it don't matter. Uh, so it means that when they hook somebody, when they get somebody down and they're about to hook somebody, you want to try to get halfway close to where they're hooking them and avoid them being able to see your aura for like five seconds. Always a good strategy to play against that barbecue and chili, which is so widely used now. Another M1 attack, it looks like. Meg and I banging this generator out. Gonna at least open up that hatch game, secure the hatch for somebody. And uh, second person is now down. You see me running. I want to get, again, within that range when they hook him so that he can't see my aura. I would bet money that he has barbecue and chili. Okay, let's. We want to make sure we're hidden too. You don't want to be playing out invisible sight when the Billy hooks them. You don't want him to be able to look and see you either. So you want to stay hidden, but out of their aura range, which I believe is like 42 meters or something like that uh, at their level three of barbecue and chili. Okay, Lori. I don't know if she wants a healer or not. I'm gonna go heal her. Come here. Yep, she wants me. She's like, come here, baby. No, I don't want your flashlight, girl. I just want to heal you up. I'm not worth a damn with the flashlight. You keep that thing, Lori. Pretty much all the Lori's I've ever seen are really good with flashlights. So you keep that. And if you wondered why, I, you know, I did a teabag action there. That wasn't a teabag, though. It was kind of a, my way of saying you're welcome. Or, you know... Doing a couple of little squats like that to another player can say, hey, what's up? It can say, you're welcome. It can say, thank you. It can say, hey, you know, it's just a friendly gesture towards other survivors. The irony is, you do that to a killer, killers are going to be like, oh, you teabagged me. I'm going to camp you now. And he's got that same Meg down again, I think. Yeah. She's already been down once. Again, notice I'm trying to get within the range of the barbecue and chili. But stay out of his sight as well. All right, we're close here. Yep, right there. 
This Billy is doing a great job of not even patrolling. You know, not even patrol or proxy camping the hooks. He is getting the hell out of there. I want to tell her to go over there so we're out of the danger zone. Come on, Meg. Let's go over there and hide. Just in case he comes zipping back. I'm getting a lot of altruism today. This is my third unhook. He's already got somebody else injured. Damn this Billy. He might have that add-on where he uh where he's actually sawing him down, except I'm not I'm not hearing the chainsaw when he gets these hits, so. He's doing a lot of hammer hits. I think that was a chainsaw hit there though. Alright again guys, we're gonna try to get within the range of him so he can't see my aura. Because I don't want to be sawed down. Not yet. Hard for me to get an altruism uh, hook save if I'm laying on the ground bleeding out my intestines. I'm trying to hold my intestines in. Uh, that's a little far away. He might see me. Yeah, I think he knows where I'm at. It's gonna, yeah, he saw me. He saw my aura. Definitely barbecue and chili. I took a hit there. And now we see how he's getting so many of these M1 hits. He is doing that pallet game. He may take a hit with a pallet, but I'm going to hit you with my mallet. Damn it. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. I couldn't see his red light, and I didn't know which way to go. All right. Got a legacy Billy here. So, so party. Not my first hook. We're down to one gen guys left. So we got some, you know, we're doing some good gen action. Uh, gen, good gen progress in this game. I'm guessing that first totem they took out when I pointed at it right at the start of the match was probably ruined. He doesn't have Thanatophobia, I don't think. So. Um, ruin was probably his way of slowing down the gen progression. Alright, i got this Meg saving my butt. Girl, I've saved her twice. Now she's going to save me. She's going to heal me right here. It's all good. Chainsaw is in the distance. I like this killer, though. I mean, we don't have a campy killer at all. We just have a really skilled Billy here. And he is making an enjoyable game for the survivors. you got to love that. you got to respect that. Okay. Yeah, and see, there's no thanatophobia, or we'd see the little red uh, icon down just to the uh, under left side of my perks. And you would see a red bar as well when I tried to repair the gin. Somebody's repairing a gin over there to my right. We're going to try to get within the range here. Again, I don't know if I'm just outside his range. Okay, he's going that way. He's going to the person that just finished the gin. But he saw me. He saw me. Alright, I'm going to go for the save because I still have borrowed time, guys. He's going to come. He is definitely coming. Oh my god. No, Billy. Billy, I want I want my however many save. Fourth, fifth save. Oh no, go for the... Uh, I was going to go for the pallet, but he would have got me. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to have to go for the pallet here. Look like at the stun. Oh, I threw it down just a second too quick to get the stun. No! I'm going to get hit here. Yep. Damn it. I like it, though. That was fun. That was fun. She's got plenty of time. Anybody worried about her getting saved? She's got people waiting right over here to save her. I'm going to be hooked my second time, however. And this is the point. We're going to see how good this killer really is. You know, most killers in this situation where they hook me, gates are open. Um, they're going to be really campy, if not base campy here. They're going to challenge the other survivors to come in with borrowed time and get that borrowed time saved, if, if you're going to get saved at all. But again, he wa he goes away from the hook. He goes for another kill at the exigate. He chases somebody out there. And it looks like I have that same Meg that just saved you last time that I've saved her twice. Uh, Dark Academy, she is coming back. Excellent save, girl. Get out of there, Meg. Get out of there. You need to hide. Oh my god, he's not coming for me. He's going for the Meg. He's going for the savior. Yep, she is running for her life. She's going to be chopped down. She's already been hooked twice because I res rescued her off the hook twice. Yep, damn it. She's down. I wanted to heal. 
before risking, but I think... Yeah, with her, with him hooking her right now, she's going to die on hook. He's going to go right back for that same gate. I think it's the only one open. We don't have time to heal. We're going to... We gotta get on out of here. He is coming. No, he's not coming. He knows I'm out. I'll give him the free hit. I, I like this. I like this Billy. Uh, very respectable hillbilly that uh, you know takes the survivor's fun into consideration and plays a fun, fair game for everybody. You gotta like that. You don't see that a whole lot these days. Um, a lot of these games that I've been playing, even with the high ranks, uh, a lot of a lot of scumbagish kind of play. So, whoever this killer is, points. Never heard of him. Game well played, man. Nice save, Meg. Dark. Let her know that I'm sorry she died. She's like, thanks. Point, you bastard. Chop me down. I'm going to say... Oh, he, he disconnected. I was going to ask him if he knew if I had borrowed time. If that's why he was so determined to not do the hammer hit. That we, we saw him do it on so many people there in the game. I think he knew that if he hit me there when I was close to that knee trying to save her. I think he knew that if he smacked me with a hammer. That I would have got her with borrowed time there. And that's why he was so determined to chop me down with his chainsaw. And he definitely did. Good game though. That was fun. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and say we're going to go ahead and jump into one more game here. Uh, I'm not playing a whole lot of Dead by Daylight lately. I uh, haven't been doing any kind of streams. I really haven't been putting up a lot of, a lot of videos uh, either. And uh, I thought I was rank one, but I am rank two. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just haven't had a lot of time to play games. I've been working like I'm working like close to 60 hours a week right now uh, during the holidays and uh, working customer support. And. Uh, I'm not used to working. I've been off for like a year and a half, and uh, yeah, not used to working all these hours yet. So I've been left pretty tired. But I want to go ahead and play a couple of these games. Hopefully they go well and get a video up to you guys. Get a video up on my channel. I also want to play episode two of Life is Strange. Been meaning to get around to that. Uh, hopefully I'll get some time sometime during the next week and get that video up. Uh, I haven't seen anybody play it. I don't know what's going to happen. All I really know is I really, really, really enjoyed episode one of uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, the second season. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this one. We are at the Wretched Shop again. And who do we have as a killer this time? Same map, different killer, different teammates, different game. It's what I love about Dead by Daylight. You just never know what's going to happen in any different game. Uh, a lot of times you're playing with different people. I think it's one of the reasons I... Oh, we got Freddy. Uh, not Freddy. Um, we got Meyer. Sorry. We heard the Halloween. He's already at tier 2 of his stalking. But yeah, that's why I love Dead by Daylight. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. If you play solo, I think it's one of the reasons I like playing solo. Is because you get different survivors every game. Um, you never really know what's going to happen. I think that's probably why my viewers prefer to watch me play solo as well. Already a gen pop. That might have been a brand new part. But I think it's why some of my viewers prefer me to play uh, solo as well. It's a little more unpredictable as to what's going to happen. And uh, he's already got mystery. I think that's the Nia. She's down. I want to get this generator done. Again, I expect him to have barbecue and chili. Ooh, decisive strike. Nia, yeah, that's going to give me time to get this generator close to being done. You know he's going to go right back after her. Um, It might not have been decisive strike. She might have been saved with like a flashlight there. Because he went and whacked somebody else. Yep, Dwight. So Dwight saved her. He went after Dwight and has Dwight down now. I think that's what happened. No DS. Dwight went in there and got a flashlight save, probably, or a pallet save. One of the two. He is now healed. And Dwight is going to be hooked. Again, a long ways away. I expect him to see my aura and know exactly where I'm at, so I need to be ready here. 
Again, go into these games, guys, if you're playing Dead by Daylight as a survivor, if you're not expecting the killer to have... Um, damn. Okay, so somebody saved the Dwight, and they are now down. They are healed quickly. Probably the Neo over there helping him heal. They are just having lots of fun over here. I'm going to continue to try to get some gins done here, guys. Well, they have their fun. Oh, man. We got a good Myers here. I am just going to sit back here and spectate while I repair this little generator. I don't think I want any part of that deadly Myers action. I do want to get close, though, so I can't see my aura. Maybe I can even get a save here. Again, another good killer. Um, walking away from the hook, not even patrol camping at all. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same killer as the last game. And knee is down. This guy is good. I mean, but I think he does have barbecue and chili. He hooked this guy and he went right for the knee. He definitely sees the auras when he hooks somebody. Definitely a barbecue and chili. I'm pretty sure of it. So he knows where I'm at here. I'm going to run this way. I'm going to work on this gen. Normally I'd switch back knowing that he sees my aura and try to confuse him. Like run one direction knowing that I'm out of that aura range. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he has barbecue and chili. One thing you can do is run one direction for like the four or five seconds that he thinks he sees you and then kind of switch back and go the other direction to try to confuse him. But he is so busy with all them, or they are so busy with him, that uh, yeah. right now, anyway, he's going to let me sit back here and repair this generator, even if he saw my aura. Now, maybe somebody can tell me that plays Killer more. I have heard a rumor that if you are, if you have a generator between you and the Killer, when they hook somebody, it's really hard for them to see your aura, because your aura is kind of red, and the generator they see is a red outline as well. So I have heard, like, when he hooks me right there, because the generator's kind of between me and him, it's really hard for him to see my aura. I don't know if that's how, how true that actually is. Maybe somebody can let me know down in the comments below. And that guy, that Dwight, just gave up. He was hooked a second time, but he just said, screw this, I'm out. Kind of a poor sport. A poor sport, uh... Well, I'm done. I quit. I mean... Let somebody save you. Don't don't give up. We got a good game going on here. We're down to two gens left. These guys are working on a gen right over here. I don't know where Myers is. Okay, he's coming after them. He's still in tier three. Yep. And then he was dropped right there. Now his tier three drops a second later. Great timing on that there, Myers. Got it just before it ended. I think this guy has the add-on, so he uh, acquires uh, the stalking power a lot quicker. Okay, I should be within the barbecue and chili range. I don't think you can see my aura. But we're going to go up here and get the save. This guy is second hooking right now. I haven't been hooked yet. I've been staying out of uh, danger so far. Okay, I got that generator almost done. I mean, I'm tempted to go... Okay, good job, Nia, by going and stopping the, the, uh, the digression of the uh, generator. Here he comes. Here he comes. That was a very good play by the Nia there. Mystery, good play. Stop the regression of the generator. Come and help me heal Dwight and GTFO. Get the hell out of there. Dwight's trying to finish that gin. He's got to be close. I'm going to stay right here. Okay, let's go try to find another generator. We know he's going to pop that one any second. Yep. There should be a generator in this uh, big building here. The wretched shop. Dwight meets me here. Great Dwight's think alike. Ain't that right? The power of Dwight. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. And Nia over there is occupying the Michael Myers. Throwing a pallet down. Give us some time, Nia. We don't need much. No, don't bring him over here. Nia? Nia? Don't bring him over here. Where the hell is he? Okay, she's running from him. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
Yeah, you could have ran anywhere but right by the shop, girl. All right, Dwight got him on a stun there. Oh my God, I'm scared. Is he after me? He's after me. I didn't even stun you. I haven't, I haven't done nothing to you, Michael. Yep, he definitely has the, uh, the add-on to help him get tier three quicker. Man, I haven't done nothing to this guy. Takes that brutal tier three force out on me. Like I'm the scum of the earth. I haven't hit him with a pallet. I haven't teabagged him. And I'm actually having a lot of fun. This is a great killer. Good save, Dwight. Good save, my man. Um, do you want me to go for the gate or do you want to go for the gate? I'm going to let you go for the gate, dude. Let you have those points. I don't care about the points. I just want to get out. I want to heal myself. Nia. Nia is down. Is she dead on hook? She got saved from the pallet or the flashlight early in the game. I don't think she's dead on hook because somebody saved her early in the game. I think this Dwight that's opening the gate. I think he saved her. And uh, good job, Dwight. Coming over here. Nice team action. Definitely using Bond. Another reason I love Bond. Being able to see your teammates' auras. I'm going to go for the save, guys. That is her second hooking. Yeah, she would be dead if this Dwight here that's with us had not saved her early on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! And again, he gets, he gets Tier 3 a second before uh, he hits me. Damn it, man. Feels bad, but at least I saved the Nia. That was a pretty clutch save. Ooh. Is Dwight going to come in for a last minute save on me here? He is. Man, this Dwight here is a hero. Not that I'm not a hero on the save of Nia, but if Dwight can pull off the save here, he will definitely be the MVP. He saved Nia early on, preventing her from dying on that hooking right there. And he comes in again and saves me. All right, you're on your own, Dwight. You're on your own, Nia. I know where the gate's at. I am going to get the hell out of here before I get killed. That was my second hooking in just like a minute's time there. I don't hear his heartbeat. But he doesn't need to be in Tier 3 to, to knock me out and kill me. Okay, yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah. His Tier 3 ended. They're both healed. I think they're going to be okay. Yep. I'm I'm going to get out. Yep, just getting out. That was another good game and another fantastic killer that I have. Whoever he is, mad respect for this killer. I'm going to guess it's the same killer as the last game. Let's check it out. Yep, points. Yep, same guy. Same guy. Let's go ahead and spectate and see if these guys get out. Here is the hero, Hot Damn Dwight. He is running for his life. Oh, he's going to make it. He's got this. His dead heart uh, is not ready, but he don't need it here. Well, he wouldn't be able to hit dead heart anyway. I mean, he would get hit there, but the hit would give him enough momentum to get out. He wouldn't even need a dead heart. And then he was at the other gate. She gets out easily. Nice save. Nice saves. Uh, plural there, Mr. Hot Damn Dwight. And you deserve those 25,000 points, buddy. GG, well played all. Good game, babe, Hot Damn says. Hmm. Hot Damn must be dating mystery or something. I guess. I don't know. Something. Calling somebody, babe, and it ain't me. Let's check this points guy out. Do I know him? Oh, guys, this is this is Diabetic, or Diatech now. He's uh, renamed his Steam account to points. This is Diatech. Great guy, man. Nothing but respect for Diatech. Uh, we played a, a very respectable killer here uh, at the end of this game. This is, this is what makes games fun for all. The guy is willing to give up. You know, he got one kill last game. He got one kill this game. He is giving up potential pips to give the survivors a fun game. A game where, you know, they can actually have a chance of getting out at the end. They don't get camped at the end of the game, stuff like that. Uh, rewarding play, hopefully for him as well, but he definitely cares about the survivors. I love seeing that, and I can't encourage this kind of killer play enough. Uh, and when you get a killer like this, guys, if you're a survivor, don't be teabagging them and, and disrespecting them either. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to quit this game. 
Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure you comment down below. Be sure you like this video. This has been Zach 9 and we'll have more videos soon. Take care, everybody.